A bit of a warning to anybody visiting the battlefields of the Great War. Uh, here am I just doing some work for Valor Canada and on the way out of the cemetery uh, my colleague pointed out uh, this on the floor. And uh, it is a British, Canadian, um, number five grenade and it's still got the base plug on it. It also has the striker lever and the pin in it. In other words, it's live. Uh, so what? Oh, couldn't I just put that in my luggage? Well, I think it's five years inside for having live munitions, not considering the risk of it going off. Now that's part of what's known locally as the iron harvest. What does that mean? That means that every year on the Western Front in France or the Western Front in Belgium, the farmers plough up and mark and leave to be collected 300 tonnes of ammunition. No, not just ammunition live ammunition. They must find thousands more tons of inert ammunition, shell fragments, all those pieces of detritus. But these then have to be taken away by the local services, or the deminers as they're called here, or Devo up in Belgium to be disposed of because they are still live potentially deadly and I'm afraid to say every year there are a few people who attempt to do their own deactivation and it goes horribly wrong. That could kill me, my colleague here, very easily if we messed around with it. So on these occasions leave them alone, don't investigate them, leave them to be collected. Oh one final warning, if they've got coloured spray paint on them then they've already been inspected. Coloured spray paint means chemical, it means phosgene, it means chlorine. Explosives gradually deteriorate, become less effective. The outer casing of a chemical shell gets thinner and thinner and thinner. Nothing at all, not rain or frost, changes the chemical properties of a chlorine shell or a phosgene shell or a mustard gas shell. If that breaches, then you've got horrific conditions in which people will suffer and may still die. Leave them alone. It's not worth it. They don't make a great souvenir.